Well, when we launched Geotactical Solutions, we had a device, it was a camera with a GPS receiver on it. it. Turned out the camera was also able to capture the who, what, when, and where, and why, and something we called memos. We thought that was really a, a revolution, and it was. And when we attended shows, it was very interesting to the people who were in the intelligence business. And at that time, we were strictly focused on, on the military. As we began to show that camera, and as people began to use it in the field, and as we began to train people, we started hearing, gee, that is really neat, but could it do this? One of the first could it do this was, how about having it tell me what the GPS position of the target is? And of course, these were military guys, and they wanted to know what the target was. They called it a target. Today, we call it the object because we're not necessarily interested in destroying it. That was the first real project that we came across. And it took us some time to figure it out. But working with our customers, we understood that, uh, that this was something that they needed. So we investigated and we found a good company that built lasers. And our engineers figured out how to get that information into the camera figured out how to calculate the GPS position of the object because we knew where the camera was. We knew where the camera, which way the camera was pointing because of the compass on board, which was also a, a, a subsequent development after the GPS. First came GPS, then a compass on board, and then, of course, the range finder. And at first, all we knew was that we needed to get the range to the object. Eventually, the engineers came up with the algorithm that calculated the position of the object. Now, we had a system that could calculate the GPS position of a distant object out to a thousand meters. Now, is it for targeting? No. But for intelligence use, to get you in the right neighborhood and to get you pretty close, it does a hell of a good job, and people love it for that reason. It's light, it's inexpensive, and it was a great capability. Moving forward from that point, we recognized that some people were real photographers. Our initial system was built for picture takers, people who don't know how or have never even heard the term DSLR. They were picture takers. They just needed to have the camera set up and know that when they pull it out of their pocket or out of the bag to take a photograph, it was going to set up and it was going to get all the information that they needed and they weren't going to be embarrassed either at the time they took the photo or at the time they have to explain what it was. Eventually we ran into people that needed more than that and so we got involved with camera manufacturers like Canon and Nikon real photographers, real cameras, and we learned how to add firmware to those cameras, how to add hardware to those cameras to enable those cameras to do the same things that our initial camera would do. That is, capture the GPS position of the camera, capture the GPS position of the distant object, capture the direction the camera was facing, capture the memos, who, what, when, where, and why, along with the time off the satellite, and even in some cases, a voice memo to go with it. All of this information, again, is valuable. And to a real photographer, he may not be out in the field. He may be a forensics photographer. He may work for the FBI or a local police department. But that information is still important to him. It's as important to him as it is to the, to the military. Because nowadays, everyone understands the value of information. 